Police released new information about the gunman in Monday's school shooting in South St. Louis. Fox 2's Laura Simon outside Central VPA High School, where a tribute to the victims is growing. This tribute continues to grow behind me here at the high school on the corner of Kings Highway and Arsenal. And among this sea of balloons, flowers and candles are pictures of the two victims who lost their lives, a teacher and a student. More on how they're being remembered in a moment, but we're also getting a better picture of what police were up against from the moment the first gunshot was fired just after nine Monday morning. Officers quick response time likely saved lives on Tuesday. Police released photos of the AR 15 style rifle. They say the 19 year old shooter Orlando Harris carried into the school. He was a former student here. Interim Police Chief Michael Sachs says the shooter forced his way into the building. Investigators say he had 600 rounds of ammo. He also left behind a handwritten note describing himself as a loner with no family or friends, writing this was the perfect storm for a mass shooting. School is closed here at Central VPA for the rest of the week as people continue to process what happened here. The pain and heartache might be even more pertinent today as we continue to learn more about the victims. 61-year-old Jean Kuska was a dedicated teacher, passionate about her students. She taught health, PE, and personal finance and worked at Central Visual and Performing Arts since 2008. She was a wife, a mom, and a grandmother looking forward to retirement in the near future. 15-year-old sophomore Alexandria Bell loved to dance, and here's how her principal is remembering her today. Very um, bright student, very charismatic, um, beautiful spirit, a wonderful dancer. Uh, beautiful inside and out. There's no school here at Central VPA for the rest of the week. Students will pivot to virtual learning on Monday. As far as when students will return to class here at the high school, that's still yet to be decided. The superintendent says it could be a matter of weeks, even months. Reporting in South City, I'm Laura Simon.